Okay, so this is for Leo for the next 48 hours to Wednesday the 21st. I'm going to go 19 through the 21st. What's going on? We have the Sun in Libra, the House of Partnerships, Equality and Balance and Fairness in opposition to... There's a need basically for relationships to become balanced, fair, and equal. And lack or less selfishness with Mars retrograde in Aries. It's opposing the energy of Mars retrograde in Aries. So being thoughtful or considerate towards the people around you, forming strong bonds. Now there's like a test. So there's strong earth energy, Venus in Virgo, which is forgiveness, compassion, and love in your day-to-day -day life and in your habits and in your service to other people. However, in your communication with the people close to you, like family, um, there's a challenge. So there's a square off. This is more in service. Virgo is more about the people you serve. Um, could be your job. But there's a tension with the people close to you. Communication challenges, misunderstandings, things that are said in the wrong way, or things that are just said um, that come out in a way that causes a challenge or a fight or an argument. Now, let's see. Basically, that's what's passing through Leo. We also have Venus passing through Leo to Mars retrograde in Aries. There could be some selfishness. I mean, this is about love of the self. Mars retrograde, it's about just thinking about yourself. In your service, where you help people. I feel like that's going very well, but it's almost like in your in your family or your home life there's a tension and it's passing across north node challenges in communication it's a challenge it's squared off with venus in virgo but it's at a very positive aspect to career so this stays <laughs> through wednesday basically same energy not a whole lot of changes we have Mercury in retrograde in Scorpio, deep feelings, intense feelings that are going on here um, with misunderstandings. So let's just see what's coming up for Leo, angels, and spirit guides. What are the messages for the sign of Leo for the next 48? And what do they need to see? appreciation so either you want to feel appreciated or maybe you're going to be showing your appreciation wanting to feel respected and cared about a man holding a coin okay so there could be someone around you rewarding you for your work hard work somebody could be showing you you know giving you a raise at your job because it looks like your career has been going pretty well Okay, then we have an attachment. Feeling like you're attached to a situation. Maybe you feel like you're wearing a false mask um, where you're not really very happy. You're kind of tied down. Wow, happy family. Okay, so it whatever this is, hopefully for you guys, this works out. The happy family is about everything is working out. Bottom of the deck is carrying connections. I just feel... Um, there could be a stubbornness with that Mars retrograde in Aries. So, with the sun, so if you're ruled by the sun and it's in Libra, that means you want things to be fair, you want things to be equal, 50-50 right down the middle, but it's not always possible. So, I think it's about being forgiving and you know, understanding as well. Maybe the energy that you put into your career, you could put in with the people close to you. So let's see. Because there are going to be communication challenges with Mercury and retrograde in the North Node and Gemini passing through the energy transiting through Leo over to Venus and then Venus is up to um, Capricorn okay let's see 
What's coming in for Leo from now to Wednesday, next 48? What's coming in for Leo? Wow, right away we have the Seven of Swords energy, which is wanting to avoid, wanting to just avoid conflict by, you know, sort of doing what you can to just not confront. It's a non-confrontational -con energy. The only thing is, is it's like, you're just kind of not dealing with it in a way. Wow. So justice, fairness, balance, maybe some of you are going through a divorce or separation. It could be the need for justice in your situation. There's some kind of a sneaky or deceptive, could be deception. So we have justice coming in in the cross. What's coming in? So we have the Queen of Cups. We have Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This person could be coming towards you. Or it's you showing your love to someone. Recent past for Leo. Wow, a king of cups. So crowning your energy is the seven of cups. You feel like there are a lot of options out there. Perhaps you feel like there's more than one soulmate. It does look like perhaps you thought you were in a relationship here. Justice could mean, you know, something is coming in here to either bring this person back to you, but seven of cups is like confusion or you feel like you have more options in love, like meant multiple options. Um, the death card comes in, an ending or Scorpio. So we have you in hermit mode, turning inward, spending time alone, the energy of turning within. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra with the justice card or a Scorpio with the death card. What is around Oh my goodness, I just saw my candle it's starting to drip over there. We have the hanging man in your environment, feeling like something is, you're stuck. But having, you know, a lot of time daydreaming or thinking about your situation, somebody around you could feel stuck. Wow. So you want to be the king. You want to be the king of fire. So you either want to take action. You want things to change. You want to make it happen. You want to take a leadership role. What's the outcome for Leo? Wow. The nine of cups. So you have a wish coming true. It's the energy of celebrations. Could be wine or beer. Um, because hangman and seven of cups can be like confusion. But nine of cups overall is, you know, you're content. Maybe some kind of a wish comes true. What is the nine of cups? Wow, a ten of pentacles. Long-term commitment, earth energy here. Financial security, great abundance. So you go from, wow, the moon card. Something is hidden. Something about deception. The moon is fear. So some of you have a lot of fear about, you know, commitment maybe. Um, what is the death? Death is a change. A major change. 
What is the death? Wow, so we have an ending with a queen of wands, which is also, you know, a fire sign. Queen, it's also a partnership. Or a change. It could be a change. The hermit card. What is the hermit? It could be a Virgo. Um, oops, something flipped. I don't see it. What is the hermit? What is the hermit? Wow. So it could be an earth sign. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody very stable and steady and dependable. Virgo energy. And we have the sun here. Happiness, joy, great success. Some of you might just be happier alone. Like you're happier when you're not in a relationship. Because then you can do whatever you want. You know, you don't have to feel like you have to either hide things or avoid conflict. Um, now, some of you probably are going to say, I'm dealing with somebody who hides things and who conceals. So, the final outcome is kind of surprising. Ten of Pentacles and a Nine of Cups. So what is the Ten of Pentacles? That's about long-term commitments, financial security, and stability. So what is the Ten of Pentacles? What is the Ten of Pentacles? Wow, the Four of Rods and the Empress. Venus, love and beauty, the energy of Venus. Now, there's someone here that you hold above others. The Four of Rods is about a stable, happy home. So whatever this situation is with one person hiding things, wanting a situation to be fair and just, Death card brings in a major change. So what is the moon? What is the moon? Could be a Cancer. Could be a Pisces. So you could be ending one relationship to form a committed relationship with someone else. Yeah, because there's a three of pentacles here. It's like there's another person or there's three people here. It could also be being rewarded for hard work. But there's not a lot of pentacles on this side except for the ten of pentacles. Okay, so you have a water sign. You have someone coming in and offering their love. You have confusion or a lack of clarity about making a commitment. Looks like there's a, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, a major, major change. Things are not going to be the same as they were. Wow, the devil and the magician. Somebody here is very manipulative. They, there could be toxic energy going on. Everything stabilizes, though. What is the hangman? Yeah, four of pentacles and hangman. It's like the other person is holding on and not making any, not doing anything to change. What is the queen of wands? Well, I got queen of wands. I got, oh, king of swords. So either you're being very strict and cold or they're being very strict and cold. Somebody has turned off their heart. Wow. So it looks like whatever's going on here actually resolves itself in some kind of very positive way with the nine of cups, the ten of pentacles, the empress, and the four of rods. This is difficult energy because somebody is not wanting to face or discuss what's going on. So I'm going to leave it here for you guys. This is your next 48. Thank you so much and take care.